Thank you, Cena. Give it up for Nick one more time, everybody. Give it up for Phoebe one more time, too. Um, I, I, I was in a songwriting contest here 10 years ago, and I met one of my closest friends that night at the contest, and I met him when I was standing right over there, so I sent him a video of me standing in the same spot about, for my friend Chris Ayer. Uh, he lives in L.A. now, and he's a songwriter, and he's super successful, and um, <clears throat> this is a song that we wrote together. Um, I got in this kick of like, uh, I was having writer's block, and so much of the songs I were writing were like, kind of like dark and sad, and, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but, um, uh, anyways, I thought, uh, can I write my version of my favorite songs? And, um, my mom and I used to sing Midnight Train of Georgia all the time when I was a kid. She'd put the record on, we'd just walk around, and I would do the parts of the pips, and she would sing Gladys Knight. Um, and I thought, like, you know, if I could take the conceit of that song and, like, do my take on it, like, following somebody around, and you're not really sure how it's going to go. And so, um, in, like, a more modern, angsty way. So this is our, our version of Midnight Train to Georgia. It sounds nothing like Midnight Train to Georgia. But in this sort of scene, um, some people are selling their stuff at a yard sale, and uh, they're just sort of watching people buy their belongings because they're moving they're not sure how it's going to go. I'm looking over All the faces in the yard They're looking older Dragging boxes to their cars When I told her That leaving isn't hard we can make a break it far away, far above. Here we go again. I'm buying in with money that I haven't spent. I'm leaping without looking at the water's edge. At the water's edge. Oh, somebody's gonna spit you out now. It's gonna hit you up and spit you out. We go again. Hold on to that. 